Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and this is a uh, overview of the new features that I just rolled out in the Socrates update. So there's an update of the Socrates theme, the toolkit, and also speaker theme. So basically, I just passed the same functionality to, to both themes, and most of the functionality is in the plugin. So if you are looking for a simple way to register members, protect download pages, if you don't want to have a complicated membership site plugin or deal with all kinds of levels and all kinds of advanced functionality you want something you can set up in like five minutes and be ready to go uh, to protect the download page uh, you're gonna absolutely love this update so I say it's a really 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 simple membership site system but for an advanced user you're gonna look at this stuff and go like oh my god I can do so much with this and me as a marketer who's created all kinds of membership sites over the years I just I wish I had this ages ago I mean I'm a big fan of some of the membership plugins I use wishlist and I'm not going to change that because I like a lot of the functionality as far as expiring memberships and as far as managing email and those kind of things uh, and, and having multiple levels for selling multiple products. Those are really good. But if you just want to protect the download page or register members, I have a private member area, this is going to be your new favorite thing. Okay, so if you go to WPMembershipTheme.com, I could talk for an hour about all the features that are in here, but I want you to just click around and play with it. You're going to grasp it instantly. You're going to see the short codes that show you how to do things. And I'm going to continue to add tutorials uh, to this site uh, so that it will just be really the, the go-to resource if you want to create membership sites or private download pages. You can go here and I'll show you exactly how to do all kinds of different things with it. But there's so much to it, I could spend like three days just adding more content here to show you how to use this. Uh, more powerfully but it's just really simple and I just want to show you the simplest thing and some of the key features so uh, if you scroll down this page you'll read that we have the uh, register form with auto login and redirect so a lot of people want to know how to register people uh, so if you want to register people this is what I would recommend that you do you have a actual page you create you make it a private you make it a page that um, you can hide from search you give it a unique name like register 752x4 something something so people would never find it and then when you opt in people, you have them confirm their email and you redirect them to this register page and that's how they register for access to the content, right? We also have a login form with, with a redirect. We have admin notifications so if you, you can see if anyone's signing up on your page who's not supposed to on your site. We have custom per page post primary menus now which is really cool. So you can see this here. We can change this per any menu. So if I go to the member left sidebar for example, you can see this just changed. Remember full width, this just changed. So I'm gonna go back to home and there's that. We have a uh, is member shortcuts to protect content by role. So you can not only protect just by generic is logged in, but you can protect by any user role. If you're an advanced user, you realize that you can create using WordPress, you can create as many user roles as you want. Uh, so this gives you all kinds of uh, flexibility and versatility. Uh, and we'll show you that's kind of an advanced feature to create roles, but we'll show you how to do that uh, as well. You can hide pages from searches, internal searches, and from external searches. So if you just want a simple download page, you know you can name it like uh, download uh, XYZ472533, and then you check one box, and it's not going to be able to be found. Uh, we have a member-only redirect. So if you only want people that are registered on your blog to be able to see something, then that page will get redirected to a non-logged-in page. So we also have an accordion menu with for masterclass functionality. Just a quick example of that, I can click on here, Masterclass, right? So it has this little widget, so I can show Lesson 1, Lesson 2. I actually just made a new tutorial on that too, that's you find in here on the site. Um, there's just so much I can share, um, but it's just so simple. So I'm going to give you the simplest things here. So if you want to create a register page, we actually have, uh, you can click on this register, right? And I'm going to open this in a new tab, and this is what it looks like. Now I'm already logged in, so you're already registered, go to Dashboard, right? This gives an example of how to set it up. This gives you how to protect by role, how to hide from search. This is the actual code to make uh, the register form redirect. The one thing I important to say that if for you people that are really super focused on security, for security's sake, it's much easier and safer just to use a redirect in the source code. Now, ideally, what you're going to do is you're going to just have this page be for members only, and so no one will be able to find it. But we didn't want to have an advanced system that has to have a special redirects and all kinds of stuff and we just wanted to keep it simple so this is the simple method here you just want to protect this page to members only so no one else can find it and ideally you're going to hide your registration pages anyhow so they're not going to be able to know the page 
Um, I'm going to go to an incognito window and show you what the register form looks like here. So this is an example of registration form. You can disable the first name and last name if you want uh, very easily in the, in the uh, settings panel. We have a simple I accept the terms of this site. This isn't linked to any fancy thing. You have to add this in. We just hope that you'll add a terms of conditions to your site and then people will have to find it and recognize it and submit. Once again, it's keeping it simple. And so that's it. They register and they get automatically redirected to your dashboard, which kind of looks like this. This is the dashboard area. And this shows kind of a login form, login with redirect to the dashboard. So the short codes are all in here. This is master class. These are the short codes for member content, all kinds of stuff. I just have to really expand on it. I just wanted to get this out to you and show you that you can do all kinds of cool things with this. This is a BB Press forum that built in. This is what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. This is my little messages trick. I have a contact form uh, seven in here, and it's how it has how it's laid out. So spend some time on the site. The auto updates are now available for Socrates. You get all this functionality, and I will. Okay, and I also just want to show a couple more features. So let's just say I want to show you the the um, the hide option, the hide from search, and the member only option. So this is the contact form as an example. But if I scroll down here. You're going to see that it, let's just say I don't want this page to be shown. Let me let me find an actual member page just to make it a little make a little bit more sense here. Uh, let me just go and grab like this master class. So say I, I don't want this page to be found in search, then I can just click hide from search, and that will basically disable it from being shown in the internal search, and also in the uh, being indexed in Google or any search engines. So that is really cool. Please note it does hide it from the internal search. So make sure you have good navigation if you use this function because they won't be able to find it. I probably could add some code that if they're logged in, they could do it. But for now, that hides it from search. Just have good navigation. You won't need this. Members only would redirect the page so that they would not be able to find it. Uh, they, if they're not logged in, they can't use the page. And then here's the little header navigation trick. So say I want to have the um, this be a member only menu. That will change the menu on the site. We also have a couple of new templates, maybe just one new template, I think. We have the member uh, left sidebar template. So I added a member left sidebar template, which gives you more flexibility. It shows the uh, member menu, um, uh, member sidebar menu in that location. So that's pretty cool. So those are the features on the page editor. Uh, these also work on the post editor as well, of course. So you can change the header and you can hide from search or make this a member only redirect so logged in users cannot view this page at all. I'm sorry, logged out users cannot use this page at all. Finally, let me go to the settings menu and I want to show you the, all the features. <laughs> Here's the membership. Here are all the features in the simple membership system that we built. You can enable or disable the admin notification email. There is no member notification email as I mentioned. You can include the first name and last name on the registration page or you can disable it. And you can redirect non-logged in users to any page that you wish. If you don't set one here, if you just set this to no redirection, then it just displays a you're not authorized to view this page and gives them a login form. But basically, just make a not a member page and save it, and boom, you're done. So that's it. That's how simple it is to use these features. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I will. I'm gonna, I'm not going to just add a bunch of features. If someone says I wish you did this, I wish you did that, I wish you did this. I will try to find a workaround and give you a solution, but my goal is to keep this simple. It's very lightweight, it's very lean. I don't want to bloat it and make it look like other membership sites. I want to keep it simple. But uh, I will keep adding resources and tricks and things like that to help you create better membership sites and download pages as well. So that's it. Uh, thank you, and uh, once again, uh, it's included with your Socrates uh, purchase or membership. Thanks.